video. Today I'm going to be making two ingredient biscuits. I've never done this before. I've never made any biscuits besides the only recipe that I have showed you before. And if you want to go watch that video, I will link it above. I made biscuits once on this channel and y'all can go watch that. But I got a comment on that video from Wayne Casper. And Wayne said, this is much easier with only two ingredients, heavy whipping cream and self-rising flour. Two cups of each, mix, knead, roll out the dough, um, cut it out, put it in the oven, bake it for 15 minutes. Easy, that's what he said. So we're gonna try it today, Wayne, and we're gonna see if your biscuits are good or not because I'm kind of skeptical. I don't know if two ingredient biscuits are gonna turn out well, but maybe they will, and maybe I'll be wrong. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna make them, we're gonna taste them, and then we're gonna come up with a conclusion. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. He said it's super simple, just two cups of self-rising flour. Let's see if I can not make a mess. I'm good at making a mess with flour. Two cups of self-rising flour and two cups of whipping cream, of heavy whipping cream. So let's see. All right, that's good. There's one cup. I might be able to scoop the second cup out of here now that it's not so full. Perfect. Okay, we've got our two cups of self-rising flour and now two cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm almost completely certain it's just gonna be this whole bottle, but I'm just gonna measure it out anyway, just to be careful. So I am not a biscuit expert and I've never made any biscuits before except for that one recipe that I showed y'all in my other video. But I decided to give this a try today because I'm always, the oven's hot, but I'm always open to trying new things. And Wayne suggested it, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes. And let's see, here's the second cup. I think the thing is, self-rising flour is supposed to have stuff like the salt that gives it taste already mixed in it. So maybe that's supposed to make it taste like not bland. I don't really know, but we're giving it a shot. And the heavy whipping cream also has stuff already in it. So I guess that's it. There's our two ingredients. Two cups heavy whipping cream, two cups flour, and I guess I'm ready to mix. All right, I'm gonna put some extra flour in this bowl because I think it looks pretty sticky. I think it's gonna get pretty sticky when I start mixing with my hands. So I may need it. <laughs> there we go. Plenty of extra flour. Extra flour to keep my hands less sticky or the pan or the cutter or whatever. So now I'm about to go in. Guys, this is pretty crazy. It's awfully sticky. Let's see if this will come together. I don't know. It's like I said at the beginning, I'm still skeptical, but if it turns out good, I will be surprised, I will not be shocked, but I will be pretty surprised. And probably pleasantly surprised, because Wayne's probably right. This is honestly probably an easier way to do it if it turns out good, but we'll see. I gotta get all the flour from the bottom of the bowl mixed in. And then maybe it'll come together. Okay guys, that kind of wound up being quite an ordeal. We did get it all into a bowl and on this pan, but it was super, super sticky. And if I did it a couple more times and got some more practice, it might not be as sticky, I don't know, but it's together on the pan. We did have to add some more flour to get it to come together, but it was together. I cleaned my hands off, good news, and we're ready to roll it out and see if these things work. So, oh yeah, I've got to cover everything in flour. That's why I have this flour bowl. I got my hands covered in flour. I got my cutter thing covered in flour. And I'm also going to just put a little flour on the top of this. Okay, so I'm going to start trying to pat it out. Wayne also said to pat it out to about half an inch thick, so I think we're about at half an inch. I'm going to go with it. Um, I'm gonna cut it out. And y'all, my pan is sprayed. It is behind me on the stove. I'm about to use it. But remember to always spray your pan. 
Always spray your pan, that is so important. It will not turn out well if you do not spray your pan. Okay, look at that, it came together. Looks good, so I'm gonna sit it on my pan. Right there, look at that. It's where I thought it was this time. a tiny bit of extra dough left over but it was kind of either make one last giant biscuit that I wasn't completely sure would cook all the way through or just throw a tiny bit of dough away so I'm about to show you how they're on the pan and then put them in the oven all right I placed them all on the pan this is just what I do I don't guess it's necessary but I, d I definitely don't think it hurts anything I placed them all touching each other because I think it makes them rise more or something like that but it has never hurt them so I just do it and we got nine, so it's kind of a lot. <laughs> I'd call them done. And I've got some helpers over here to help me taste them and determine if they're good. All right, what do y'all think? First glance. Okay, so my opinion is, is they look great. I am highly skeptical that these are as good as our other ones, but I will be absolutely honest. That's so, what I think. John, what do you think? Do they look good or no? It looks like the canned biscuits at the store, which are really good, so I think they're kind of good. Okay, what do you think? I think they look fine. I don't, I don't, I kind of doubt they're going to be good, but they look good. <laughs> okay, all right, well, let's, let's try them. You want to get them? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's very fluffy. Can you help me with it's, that? Um, it's surprisingly fluffy. Yeah. I'm still steaming. This is great. I, we I, have I strawberry jelly too. Oh, great jelly and a spoon, please. Thank you very much. Okay, he's already eaten it. What do you think, John? Um, I just did this and put it in my mouth. So he's just playing. Oh, okay, so you don't know. Yeah. Alright, if y'all can eat it, just eat it. Sorry. It's not, if it's not too hot. What do you think? They're good. Good biscuit? You think they're good? I are don't they, know if I try. Are they as good as the other ones? That's the question. They're better. Better? John, I think they're better. Oh okay. my gosh. Now mine's got jelly on it. So I'm gonna okay, they're it. really good. I like it. I'm just, I'm so literally good. just putting butter on it so that I can taste the biscuit good. These are great. Right. I really right. like it. These I'm gonna go good. around the table after everybody's had a chance to taste it, mm. and I'm gonna ask you, is it good? You're gonna give me a thumbs up or, th or a thumbs down, okay? Or All right, you ready? All right, I'm gonna start over here at Carly. All right, Carly, what did you think? I think it's pretty good. Um, it's different, but it's still really good, and I would eat it. All right, John, what did you think? It's really good. <laughs> so, approval uh -huh. proved by John? Uh-huh. And he's a biscuit man, too. All right, savvy daughter, savvy dad. You're savvy dad. Savvy dad. So, okay, my opinion, these are fantastic. So, I was very skeptical. I can't believe how fluffy they are. If anything, they need some salt. But they're really good biscuits. Really good. Mm. Okay, so I think they would be better if we literally just added, like, a teaspoon of salt or something but I think they're really good I'm surprised about it and yes it was easier than the other ones I will admit that they were more sticky but it was easier and I think if I tried it a couple times I would get better at it and then they wouldn't be so thumbs up from me okay my final conclusion is that these are good biscuits so thank you to Wayne for this suggestion um, they turned out good, actually, even though I was skeptical. I have to say, they're good. So I will probably do this again in the future. Thank you, Wayne. This is super simple, super easy if you want to try it. Have a great day. Thank you for joining me, the Savvy Daughter, in my kitchen, and I hope to see you on the next one.